Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, Deb Chanel's 48th World is where you're residing at right now. So kick back, relax your feet, party on down to the escape. Just kick it, just kick it. And for the ones that do have to go to work tomorrow, just wait, pause this video and watch it tomorrow or when the weekend hits. Because we don't want y'all getting all into it and can't dive into what i'm trying to tell y'all y'all think i'm being rushed y'all think i'm taking too long to get to the point so to, you know to avoid all of that just wait till tomorrow when you off and then catch it or catch it on your lunch break okay because we want y'all to be fully understood and being aware of what i'm saying of subject matter i'm talking about but again welcome welcome back to the channel the channel is deb chanel's 40s world and again i am deb chanel Thank you. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for my old subscribers. And thank you for the subscribers that are thinking they want to come over here and be a part of my family. All right? Because without you, there is no me. That's just how it's going to be. All right? But let's get into the story, y'all. Child, please it just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. All right? And I am here to tell you, Mary, the medicine is cutting up. I'm like, I said it on my last um, review recap on uh, the trailer that they gave us for Merit and Medicine, their first part of their um, reunion taping. Girl, it seemed like this was a lot more uh, appealing than the season itself that they showed us. Okay, the reunion is kicking off with a God dog it bim bam boom type of situation and we got dr he i mean dr heavily involved dr simone and dr jackie who we need to be paying attention to because they showing out in these media uh trending topics in social media they they showing our hunting dr simone letting it all hang out and she ain't putting that nam chaser to her you drinking all her vodka her tequila her hennessy straight Okay, straight from the top shelf. She meant she meant to get you drunk and dazed because it's some mm, some foul things going on over that child. They're gonna make it big for their next season. Okay, with your season eight, honey, embark on it because it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, and fabulous. If we still got Mariah hanging around now. <laughs> But anyway, it's coming from the blogging site I'm getting this from is none other than UrbanBellMag.com. Yes, check her out. Go on over there and see what she got piping and coming down on pipe, uh, pipelines, honey. All the salacious stories are over there with her and Celebrity Entertainer. And, of course, my fave, Media Takeout. Yes, yes, yes. All right. They be coming through. They be coming through. They be pushing, honey. They be pushing them stories out like a pregnant woman trying to give birth. All right. They trying to stay in the game, and they doing well. So they breaking them stories a lot quicker than those other outlets. And I can say even Urban Bell, they, they waiting. They seeing what's being put out there by Media Takeout. But they got to get their resources together they got to go out there put their people to the street and see if that's true you got any inside uh solidified people credible reputable people that's talking about this particular story let me know then hey i cash you in i cash you out baby but i gotta know what it is because i don't want nobody coming back knocking at my door time some litigation going on because i misspoke misled people uh and, and put them on some fake fraudulent shit okay so yeah son they on the forefront right now and i'm like go ahead the underdog has come and raining out there that's media takeout baby but anyway going back to what urban bell mag.com put out on social media today honey um the person who wrote it was amanda anderson niles i think she's a independent contractor over there that's um how you can say they they um they hire her to write stories for them she's not necessarily with urban bell mad but um she's like a, a correspondent slash writer slash contractor over there okay she uh, marched to her own tune, but she goes and graces them uh, here and there with some of her remarkable articles. So we're going to get into it. She titled this particular article, Marriage and Medicine Star Dr. Simone Confirms Fallout with Dr. Jacket and Explodes on Dr. Hevelin. And everybody need to be exploding on Dr. Hevelin because she don't even make no sense over there. She really don't. She's just like pro, pro, pro Jacket. Jacket can't do no wrong. 
Uh, Jack can probably sleep with her husband. She'll find some evidence that it was Damien's fault for letting Dr. Uh, Jackie sleep with him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She wouldn't even blame Dr. Jackie for her infidelity part that she played with sleeping with her husband, allegedly. Okay, I'm just saying that's how stuck up her behind. She kind of remind me of Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leakes at this point. All right, but ain't nobody liking Dr. Heaven. Ain't nobody liking her over there. Okay? And she gets credibility of why nobody wants to be bothered with her because... Her truth is not necessarily the truth, and it just has so many holes in it. Okay, she just like Jackie because she like Jackie. All right, and Jackie can put her in the realm of meeting more lucrative people because Jackie is always out there looking for a deal, uh, trying to make more money, more money because she's hiding from the fact that she's empty inside. She's broken inside. Instead of dealing with that, she wants to keep herself so busy where she don't have time to think about what she can't have, which in essence, yeah, you can have it, okay? Yeah, you can. If he want to be stubborn and not, you know, be a part of you wanting a baby, whether you have to adopt the baby, meaning Curtis, her husband, yes, her cheating husband, yes, her selfish husband, yes, her husband she employs as project manager over the building that she's owning, okay? Yeah, that husband. So she can make all these wonderful decisions, all these branching out of uh, creating new revenue streams, but yet she can't have the baby that she wants. Even if she has to go and adopt it, Jackie, please stand up in your own shit before you can tell anybody else to face their pain and stand up in their pain and empower themselves. Girl, get with it. Okay, moving on back to the article. Um, we read it uh, in the certification or it's it's uh, presentation she's giving it to us on. She says the first look at the Merit to Medicine reunion is here. And it may have confirmed what many fans of the show have speculated, a rift between Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie, okay? On the current season, a lot of fans have noticed that Simone and Jackie haven't seemed as tight as they have been over the years. Simone also made her disappointment with Jackie handling of Buffy's Purcell's clear in a previous episode, one can assume that Simone's feelings on the situation may have led to her friendship with Jackie taking a hit. And we're talking about basically, if nobody caught it or whatnot, or wasn't in that frame of mind to catch that little tea. Um, Dr. Simone really was telling Dr. Jackie the whole presentation of what she did to Buffy about, you know, presenting her infidelity concerns to total strangers was a bit much she should apologize to her a real a heartfelt apology and keep it moving and, and keep her her uh business she knows about other people in private not on front street because it wasn't nobody's business to know buffy parcells business in that way maybe between the girls and y'all kicking it and whatnot but not just total strangers that are mostly was jackie's guests so really all her guests, they were just there supporting her and her new book cover reveal for her book she's bringing out that she definitely want all of her friends or co-workers to partake of and buying their own special copy to support her. But she wanted to just be fake and fraudulent and, and making her st stuff look better than the rest of the girl so people can talk about her, whether it's negative or positive. She still get talked about. How they say all press is good press, whether it's bad or whether it's good, it don't really matter. Not in an entertainment uh, community. It really doesn't. As long as people still got your name in their mouth and on their mind, that's the only thing that drives revenue for these entertainment greedy giants. Okay? But um, going back to the article, it says, Do in the reunion, it is revealed that Jack and Simone aren't in the best place. Simone also has some explosive moments with Dr. Heavenly Kimes as well. And then, let me see. What else What else they got to tell us? Because we pretty, pretty much knew all of that. Okay. The season finale of Merit to Medicine airs December 22nd. But Bravo has already released the first look at the reunion. And it's clear Mariah and Quad won't be the only one saying goodbye to friendship. Now, I'm going to say that's just rehashed stuff. They tolerate each other. They're cordial to one another. But they don't like each other. There is no love lost there. And we knew that from previous seasons ago. So, why are they trying to anchor that as a storyline to be talked about during the reunion? I don't know why. Okay, that ship has sailed. Okay. Then, um, they're going. That was my sidebar, not in this article. 
But going back to the article, it said, in fact, Dr. Jackie Waters and Dr. Simone have hit a rough patch in theirs. And Andy Cohen notes this with Simone, and she says, well, things have changed. And when she faces Jackie on the opposite couch, she doesn't deny that she holds grudges, okay? And if anybody had a chance to review um, or look at my previous video I brought out today, um, around one something Eastern Standard Time you can see what I'm saying and then you can hear some audio feedback that I put in my uh, video as well to confirm that yes uh, Dr. Mon says she does hold grudges <laughs> and I guess it's healthy for her at this time because she needs to let stuff be known of some stuff she didn't like okay and then maybe she could forgive later on but that's common for most folks you know to uh, hold a little grudge here and there but then you need to release it it's better for you and your health than it is to hold it and let somebody else be prevailing and winning and they're sleeping good at night while you sitting over there you know holding grudges to your very death you know what i'm saying it's not worth it but someone can she can press on she just don't want she want to be petty right now and i understand it be petty be petty simone for a little while okay and at least to uh the reunion the third part and then you can just let things go because y'all finished taping for at least a month or two and then y'all be working on season eight i'm sure okay but going back to the article it says simone is indeed holding a grudge with dr heavenly Kleins. heavenly had a memorable twitter beef with cecil whitmore and simone hasn't been thrilled about the things heavenly has said about cecil and their marriage since apparently these come up to a head backstage between both women and I'm like, okay, Dr. Heavenly, if you go hard for Damon and y'all marriage and y'all relationship and you don't want anybody to even dare to be looking at him more than a second, why Dr. Simone can't come and defend her husband, Cecil? Fair play, love and war, all of it's on the table, baby. You can't just be talking about people's husbands here and there and you don't think they're going to retaliate. And Dr. Simone, no, she put it in drive and she was pressing that gas to a Honda, okay? She had like she was in a sports car running around that speed track, just running circles around you and Damien, okay? Because she coming for you, honey. She coming and she ain't coming off the gas. She just ready to run all over you. Then bag back up on you, make sure she got you real good, okay? <laughs> Cause Simone said, don't mess with me, baby. Don't mess with me. Because I can be hood and I can be true to form professional. But I'd rather be hood slanging tomatoes in the streets with you until one of us fall out. Okay? I'm like, come on off your chariot then. Simone, come off that chariot. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um... Apparently, things come to a head backstage. Both women, Heavenly, also had a heated moment with Buffy Purcell. Heavenly and Dr. Contessa McCall are a team Jackie. And they are convinced Buffy is using an inf uh, infertile situation to become a star on the show. After Heavenly seems to express this at the reunion, Buffy says she's lying through them dentures. Heavenly says Buffy is lying through her fat ass. Okay? And all that I can say is... When you come on the show, you got to make it uh, or break it. That's what the show is going to make of you. You either going to brain drama, deliver something so you can be seen as deemed worthy to bring back for the next season. Or you're going to be like too boring and don't nobody really want to pick uh take the time to even embrace you or try to even get to know you and your character. Okay, now see Buffy. What she talked about really wasn't escalated until Dr. Jackie brought it out on Front Street. So if I was Buffy too, yeah, I linger, linger with it as much as I can for this season. And then like she's doing, she's turning up a notch. She said, okay, I'm empowering myself. I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm going out there and get me a baby. Okay, and we're going to do it the same way Candy did hers on Real Housewives of Atlanta and several other people out there that went through a surrogacy for them to carry their child for them but they're using their own eggs and their own sperm okay they just need the oven for it to cook because um buffy's oven is kind of what we say broken at the time but that's okay we can fix it other ways just because one oven broke we can use the toaster <laughs> we can use the microwave girl we can do a lot of things when the big heating uh uh, cooking uh, devices broke on us. We could use somebody else's kitchen. Yes, we can and serve up a good meal. But anyway, that was just my pun intended, not in this article. But going back to the article, it said, um, when it comes to Quad and Mariah, no prospect 
progress appears to be made and Dr. Aiden uh, is definitely done with quad. Yes, because if you heard the video being played, yeah, that really was a hot mess. Okay, that was a hot mess, y'all. But if y'all missed the video clip or the audio clip, I think I got another one here. So let's play a little bit if we uh, don't mind, okay? Okay, let me get this. Hold on, guys. Okay, so that was basically the clip that I replayed from my um, other video. That if y'all didn't get a chance to catch it, um, it was actually being played for you all again. So y'all can hear the uh, uproar as well as the differences of explosive uh, attitudes and demeanors coming out on part one of the first reunion for season I think it's seven for them uh trailer part that they gave us of what's gonna be happening honey yes that relationship is in uh tears right now between Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie and Dr. Heavenly is pressing gas over there because she likes the fact that Jackie is on her team, and they're going against Buffy. And, you know, Jackie just don't want to admit that she was wrong telling another person's or another person's business. Dr. Hamlin don't want nobody talking about her, uh, meaning Dr. Jackie, and she definitely don't want nobody looking at Dr. Damon. So those two are like two birds flock together, stay together, okay? But like I said, Dr. Hamlin, Dr. Jackie will turn on you, hon, and she like a python and wrap herself around you and choke the shit out of you. But you got to learn that situation because if... <sighs> Simone and her are like thick as thieves and they're like separated at this time. What you think that Dr. Dr. Jack would do to you when she don't feel like you're necessary? She don't want you as her spokesperson no more. She don't want you as her cheerleader. She don't want you in her corner. What you think she gonna do to you, honey? What you think she gonna do to you, Dr. Heavenly? Girl, please. <laughs> You better be your own player on that game, hon. This is like Big Brother over there at the Meredith Madison camp in Real Housewives of Atlanta. They playing mind games, and you got to come to win. You better be out there playing uh, chess instead of Uno and and, and uh, checkers and dominoes, honey. Be a bit on that chess, that chess team, honey, and making them pawns lay down. <laughs> And the kings and queens rule all day. All right. That's OG talking, honey. That's OG wisdom giving y'all a little golden nugget there. But that's all I have for this video, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You got some enlightenment of what's going to happen on um, season, well, the um, season seven reunion part one. Of what's going to be coming up on December 22nd. Yes, they're giving it to us before Christmas. So, woohoo, child, we're going to be having something to look at. And hopefully they'll keep playing it so we have something to look at other than other stuff that's going to be normally out there like Christmas. Um, we call it um, videos and stuff of that nature, okay? But I'm like, relax, relate, release this holiday season, babies. And uh, as usual, come on over to the house because you know I'm going to be talking about something out there. And I'm going to be summonsing you all to come on over to the house because it's always going to be, it's a family affair. 
It's a family affair. Yes, I'm going to be over here singing, drinking, eating, gossiping. We're not really gossiping. We're just sharing stories out there and putting our own opinions on it. I don't call that gossiping, okay? Not over here at the house because y'all take it for what it's worth. We just kick in and trying to find some logic in what we're being presented on these social media streets or on these reality shows. And we just be like calling the spade a spade, okay? Or if they speak in truth, we're going to salute them and say continue. Oh, I have no, no uh, justification on the validity you drop down here with all that reasoning you were giving me, girl. Okay, go on, do your thing, honey. I'm, I'm with you. Now, next week, I may not be with you, just depending on how you coming across, you know, with your logic, okay? Because I ain't going to be around here sl just swallowing everything. No, if it stinks, it stinks. I'm throwing it out, okay? It's expired. But if you coming with some truth and sounding good, we're going to partake of that and eat it in one second, thirds, fourths, you know what I'm saying? Many plates. We're going to take some plates home, okay? And digest it on a little time. But that's all I had, honeys. Y'all be blessed, and I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye. And don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share and like my videos. Share and like my videos. Then subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.